In League of Legends, there are two stats that reduce the amount of damage a champion receives. These are known as Armor and Magic Resistance. Armor and Magic Resistance work in almost the exact same way. The only difference is what kind of damage they reduce. Because of this, we'll cover both of these stats in this episode. In order to understand Armor and Magic Resistance, we must first understand the three types of damage in League of Legends. Physical damage is dealt when a champion uses their auto attack. Some champions' abilities also deal physical damage. Armor reduces the amount of physical damage a champion receives. Magic damage can be dealt in similar ways, but it's most commonly from an ability. Magic resistance reduces the amount of magic damage a champion receives. True damage cannot be reduced by armor or magic resistance. The summoner spell Ignite deals true damage, along with a few champions' abilities. As a quick summary, Armor reduces physical damage, magic resistance reduces magic damage, and nothing reduces true damage. Both armor and magic resistance use the same equation to calculate damage reduction. From this point on, we'll only use armor and physical damage as the variables. Just keep in mind that magic resistance and magic damage would work in the same way. The following equation is used whenever a champion is dealt physical damage and their armor is greater than or equal to zero. The damage being dealt is equal to itself multiplied by the following value. 100 divided by 100 plus the champion's armor. With the way this equation works, no matter how much armor a champion has, the damage being dealt will never equal zero. Here's an example of how the damage will be reduced. Let's say Heimerdinger has 10 armor. He is hit by Twitch's auto attack, which deals 55 damage. With this equation, the 55 damage is reduced to 50 damage, which is what will then be applied to Heimerdinger. There are also two variables that come into play regarding armor. Armor penetration and armor reduction. Both of these stats allow an attacking champion to deal damage to an enemy champion while ignoring armor equal to their armor penetration and reduction stat. However, there are two major differences regarding these stats. Armor penetration only applies to the attacking champion rather than the champion receiving damage. This means that if two champions are dealing an equal amount of damage to a single champion, if they have different armor penetration values, they will deal different amounts of damage. On the other hand, armor reduction will affect all damage dealt to the champion that it is applied to. This means that if a champion has their armor reduced by 10, all physical damage dealt to it will ignore 10 of the champion's armor. The other major difference is that armor penetration cannot ignore more armor than the champion has, essentially meaning that a champion's armor cannot be penetrated past zero. Armor reduction, however, can reduce the champion's armor below zero. If this ever happens, a champion will actually be dealt extra damage, since its armor is in the negatives. There is a second equation used to calculate damage when a champion's armor is less than zero, so let's look at it quickly. The damage being dealt is equal to itself multiplied by the following value. 2 minus 100 divided by 100 minus the champion's armor. This equation allows for a champion to be dealt additional damage if their armor is in the negatives. Now that we've covered what happens when a champion's armor is less than zero, let's get back to armor penetration and reduction. Armor penetration and reduction are applied in a specific order which is as follows. First, a champion's armor is reduced by any flat reductions in effect. The next three steps each check if the champion's armor is less than or equal to zero to see if the effect will be applied. For example, if step three reduces a champion's armor to zero, step four won't happen. Next, the armor value is multiplied by any armor reduction percentages in effect. One important thing to note is that multiple armor reduction percentages are applied one after another rather than being added together. This means that if a champion is hit by a 30% and a 50% armor reducing effect, they won't lose 80% of their armor. Their armor will be reduced by 30% and then that value will be reduced by 50%. Step 3 subtracts the armor penetration value of the attacking champion from the defending champion's armor. Remember, while this step can reduce a champion's armor to zero, it will not lower any more than that. Step 4 multiplies the armor value by any armor penetration percentages the attacking champion has. Just like in step 2, percentages are applied one at a time rather than being added together. Finally, the damage is calculated based on whatever the final value of the champion's armor is. This concludes this episode of Walt Math. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. 
If you have any comments, questions, feedback, or ideas for future episodes of Wall Math, feel free to post in the comments section underneath this video. Also, check out the previous Wall Math video by clicking on the annotation on the screen. Thanks for watching.